hey guys hello and welcome to my channel tsg in previous videos we have discussed how to create a free microsoft 365 account and how to add remove users and also how to assign licenses to users so now uh, you should be able to do these tasks in office 365 by now uh, today we are going to discuss how to create a new profile in outlook I would like to mention that this is different from adding an account to Outlook and I will show you how it is different in the end. Let me just quickly take you to the demo. So guys, uh, if you want to directly create an Outlook profile, you need to go to your search option in Windows and then go to type here control and go to control panel. All right. Here, uh, if it is uh, in this view, then it is fine. If it is this view, you can change it from the category option and uh, select any of these, right? So the purpose of this is to come to this window and uh, have all the icons in the control panel. We need to search for mail icon, which is here. All right, so right now you can see that there is no profile listed here, right? You might have an Outlook default profile here, which will be named as Outlook. So don't worry about that. Just go to add option, create a new profile. You can give it any name. I'm going to give it test as of now. And I will click on okay. Next, it will ask me to enter my name. So it will be test and uh, the email ID. Let me just fetch the email ID we created in the previous videos. Just a moment. All right, I have it. All right, next I have to enter the password. and retype the password to confirm it then i will click on next it's going to check your network connection and then it will try to reach the microsoft office 365 server then you need to log in on office 365 this is called modern authentication right so I'm going to skip this all right it's doing the further authentication checks then it will log into the server fantastic now it will by default show you this option to set up Outlook mobile on my phone so you can uncheck this box otherwise once you will click on the finish button it's going to take you to the browser so let's finish this and you see here uh, we have a profile called test now there are two options here first radio button says prompt for a profile to be used so every time if you select this every time you are going to open outlook it will ask you to select the profile let's say you have multiple profiles added here for different email ids so every time you will open the outlook it will ask you to select the profile the other option is always use this profile so you can just select the profile of your choice from this menu and then hit apply and then ok it is done now you have created an outlook profile so since i have selected the second radio button I, it will uh, directly take me to that option if i go to outlook right i'm opening outlook right now so since this is the first time i'm opening outlook after adding an account it's going to create a local copy of my mailbox and it will take few minutes for that all right so guys uh, in the starting i discussed about uh, it is different from adding an account so you have a profile now now uh, 
what you can do is you can go to your file option right you have this add account button here you can add multiple accounts to this single profile right so this is how creating a profile is different from adding an account you can also add your email address to the default account however see this is how you add an account so however uh, if you want to create a new profile let's say you have three four email IDs which you want to keep in a single profile and you have other email IDs which you want to uh, keep in the other profile then you need to use this way to create a profile now next thing I want to discuss here is that when you add an email to Outlook guys uh, please remember that when you add an email to Outlook there are two ways let's suppose you have full access to the mailbox you can go to this option add account here let me show you again you can go to this add account option here otherwise you can also go to account settings account settings and then this screen will pop up and then you have new option here you can add a new email address here as well guys uh, let's keep it uh, aside and new thing which I want to tell you here is if you want to add a shared mailbox which you have full access on this email address you can simply double click on this email ID go to more settings advanced and you can add a shared mailbox here which you have full access already so guys this is how you can add accounts uh, create a new profile in Outlook this is how you manage email addresses in Outlook if you have multiple email addresses added to your Outlook and you want to remove one of them I, I right now have just one account so I will not be able to remove it because this is the primary one right if I have multiple accounts if I want to delete them I just simply need to click on them and then just remove so this is how you manage Outlook profile and uh, Outlook email addresses guys if you have any questions related to this uh, demo please write in the comments if you like the video please don't forget to click the like button also if you have not subscribed my channel right now please do that and click the bell icon to get notifications for my next videos all right guys let's meet in the new video with a demo of next how to question bye